Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Got up and did my workout, day four of the whole 30. Also my fourth day working out because I started working out Sunday. I'm hoping to do one more day tomorrow. I have, my goal is to do five days a week. Hey, Google, stop. I love this Google. Google is way better than Alexa, if you're wondering. Um, so I'm, I just, this morning I was feeling a little, I want to be completely honest with you guys about my whole 30. Um, I really like seeing pictures of people's delicious coffee on fa on Instagram and Facebook makes me want like a delicious coffee. While I love plain nut pots coffee, some days it's hard to not get a caramel macchiato. Like I don't, I love the ice ones. I don't know what it is. So, and I really shouldn't be having them even when I'm off a whole 30 because of the way that sugar is affecting my body. So it's gonna be a hard one to kick. <laughs> but that's just how I felt this morning. I was starving after my workout, so I cannot wait to eat breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing for breakfast. Oh, I am chopping up Brussels sprouts, and I have my egg bake, and then we've got extra sweet potatoes and veggies in the refrigerator. Um, so I'm gonna add that as well. So I'm gonna get this all chopped up and in a pan. about a teaspoon if you ask me it's not a lot so that's what I'm counting as might even be half a teaspoon took a little bit out to save to have with my lunch and I added about three ounces of sweet potato from what I made yesterday and zucchini and red onion so I'm gonna count this whole mixture as four points because three ounces of sweet potato is three points, and I just added an extra for a little bit of olive oil. I might be doing that wrong, but it is what it is. Alrighty guys, here is breakfast. One for this, one for this, four for this, four, five, six, I'm bad at math if you can't tell, seven, one for that. So seven point, completely whole 30 breakfast. I can't wait to eat. Do I say that after every single meal? I think so. Well, before every single meal. Lunch time, guys, lunch time. I'm so hungry. So I'm warming up some sweet potatoes. I made this huge batch. Well, I guess they had some for dinner last night. So I stole a few with the leftover, oh, leftover Brussels sprouts from this morning. I didn't add any extra oil because there was plenty in all the vegetables. So I've got three ounces of sweet potatoes and the veggies are zero and I'll just count an extra point for the, um, the oil. So that's four points. I've got my salmon cakes in here. They're done. Four or five points. So this is gonna be high point lunch, guys. Holy cow, I just realized. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 for the leftover. I'm so hungry, so it's well worth it. The leftover slaw from last night, love this. And then one point for avocado. So it's gonna be an 11 point lunch. Um, which brings me down to, I think, uh, four points for dinner. So I'm going to try to make it work. Try to make it work, guys. But um, I'm going to put everything together and I'll show you my finished plate. Because I like showing you guys my finished plate. My mouth is watering. Also, I finally got a compliant hot sauce for here at work. So I'm super excited about that. Because I ran into Trader Joe's last night. I'm going to put a little bit on that and then put the avocado on top. Sorry the lighting was bad. I didn't turn the lights on when I got in the house because I'm so hungry. Oh, guys. I can't wait to dig in. Here's lunch. No, this is what I call torturous. Having to make the kids these and smelling them and not being able to eat them. Pure torture. Dinner time, guys. I'm so proud of myself. I literally use, like only used what I had at home this week. So this is the leftover chicken from last night. I'm gonna use the potato wedges from the night before. Well, was this Tuesday night? I don't remember. They're still good. And the, um, from last night and if I still have some avocado I'll add that to it but I'm gonna warm this up I think on the stove the cleaning lady came today it's so nice and clean um, I will probably warm these up also on the stove because some of them weren't fully cooked and I like them to be cooked all right this is one I added a little hot sauce one for the avocado one for the chicken three for this so six I'm going over today by three points but 
at least it's all Whole30 compliant. Good morning guys, happy Friday. Remember I was just saying the other day, this is great, I'm doing great. Today I wanna kill all the things. I got my period, first of all, so I just want to eat like a bagel or chocolate or something for breakfast that's not eggs. <laughs> I can do this day five. I can't believe I'm at day five already 25 more days to go um, I'm making I have My egg bake this came in this was a lifesaver this week lifesaver So I'm gonna have to think of like another one for next week I just I'm softening potatoes in the microwave and then I'm going to finish them off on the stove and I'm gonna um, cook up some broccoli. I'm hoping this is enough broccoli for lunch, for lunch and breakfast, but we'll see. Oh, wrong one. I got just a bit of water in there. I just have a half a teaspoon of oil in with these guys and I seasoned them. I'm just gonna kind of press them down and get them nice and crispy, like hash brownie. And this is three ounces for two points, and since it's just a half a teaspoon, I'm gonna count it with the same point as this olive oil that was used with this, because that's all I'm doing, guys. So this is one, two, so three together, one for my um, coffee, and then I'm either gonna add some avocado or banana and almond butter, I haven't decided haven't decided. Nice and crispy they got, and it only took a few seconds. Warming it up in the microwave, softening up in the microwave really, really helps. So, um, I just need to get my egg on here. All right, here it is. Day five, breakfast. 1.2, no, 1.2 points, three, four, five. Five points for breakfast, I think. I think that's right. Guys, I am cranky today. I don't know, I know what it's from. It's from the freezing cold and my period. I just wanna eat all the food. <sighs> and I'm like bored with the food I have. Um, so like next week I have to, oh, my sleeve is stuck. I have to change it up a bit. So this is lunch and then I have to go to Target. Um, all things within my budget. So Kelly from Freedom in a Budget, if you don't follow her yet, I feel like you're not familiar with her i'll leave her channel down below love her she does healthy weight watchers type things she's also big into um budgeting and getting out of debt like the dave ramsey way which is like what i'm trying to do and she challenged me to save to not spend anything on myself this month and all the money that i have for myself to put it towards a credit card and double it so um, what I'm going to do is I don't I'm going to take all the money that I have for myself put aside and um, I'm gonna put that towards the credit card I'm super I'm, I need like a challenge like this I hope I could do it no nope, I can do it and um, I don't know if I could double it just because my budget is already tight because I'm putting a lot of money towards my credit cards but any extra income that comes in I'm gonna put towards it so like my extra working on the weekends money my instacart money and um, I don't know if I'm gonna do like a weekly update on like what I've done or just like at the end of the month update you guys on like how much I've spent, how much I've put towards my credit card and how much I've paid off. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. I know that I promised um, envelope stuffing videos. I just have not had the chance to have any extra money to put in envelopes right now because I am trying to pay off a lot of my debt. And last month it was um, our honeymoon and I needed extra money for that. So this week my grocery budget, I wanted to make it 120 or 130. I'm gonna hope to stick to that, but we need a lot of like house essentials, like red paper towels, toilet paper. I'm out of toothpaste. Well, we're we share toothpaste. Rob's out of deodorant. I'm out of deodorant. We're out of a lot of cleaning supplies for the cleaning lady. So I might go a little over budget, which is okay. I have a little bit of a cushion, which what I was hoping to put towards my credit card but like we're out of everything, like that wise. And I haven't been out of all that stuff in forever. So rant over, I'm gonna try my best at Target to get things on sale and I'm not like a name brand type cleaning product person anyway because I hate cleaning. The only thing that I love is the um, the, the Mrs. Meyer scents, but my cleaning lady actually tells me what to buy. So I just 
refill her supply. Um, lunch is the buffalo chicken and broccoli slaw, which I love. I'm just kind of like upset that I couldn't find a compliant cranberry to put in it because I like the the sweet and the savory combination. Um, I did find these at ShopRite and I was snacking on them because I had to go um, for her. And I've been trying to find a compliant beef jerky for a while. And I know that there is kinds, but I've been like, said, Ugh. I haven't been able to get to a Whole Foods and I'm pretty sure they have it. Um, actually, the last time I looked, I don't know if I saw this brand there or I don't remember if I looked or not because my whole, my Trader Joe's does not have the chopsticks. And um, that Epic bar that I picked up was not compliant. There was sugar in it. But these, the ingredients in this one, because it's cranberry and sriracha, are grass-fed, uh, <laughs> I can't talk, I need more coffee. Grass-fed beef, dried cranberries, which are just with apple juice, no sugar. Sea salt, red pepper flakes, garlic, paprika, onion, red pepper, black pepper, cumin, and oregano. 100% full, already compliant. Not sure of the points. But like I said, I'm not like trying so hard to stick within my 23 points, but I'm trying to like gauge it so I'm not eating too much. You know what I mean? So I'm going to track this, track lunch. I'll write in right here how much this is. I Lunch so far is just two points. My arm hurts. <laughs> um, because the chicken is one, the broccoli is one, and I'm probably going to add avocado to it. Uh, I'm just kind of keeping it light because I'm saving my salmon cakes for dinner because I'm at work late tonight and I have half of a sweet potato that I used for the um salmon cakes and the rest I'm just gonna like have is, like mashed potatoes mashed sweet potatoes um so I've never had them just like that before can you believe it so that'll be dinner this will be lunch I think I might mix it all together I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it but I'll show you here's lunch three points one two three easy peasy lemon squeezy and I'm gonna eat guys, I'm just gonna eat and maybe watch a little bit of Gilmore's just to try and get my crankiness under control.